Hello guys, this is Thomas from Hotkey404 and this is another video on secure calling in asterisk. Today I will show you how to encrypt media with SRTP. In this video I will just assume that you already have your TLS enabled. If not, just check our website or maybe our previous videos where I explained how to use Let's Encrypt or self-signed certificates to encrypt SIP transportation. However, at this point, your calls are not yet 100% encrypted. Why? Because although your registers, invites and so on are encrypted, uh, once the asterisk establishes a connection, it creates an additional RTP bridge between those two endpoints and this is not yet encrypted. That is why today I want to show you how to enable media encryption using SRTP in both SIP and PJSIP channels. Before we start our SIP channel configuration, let's quickly see how exactly does it work. I have registered 101 extension on my soft phone, 100 on my regular phone, and when I dial 101, you'll see that there's this green icon that indicates SIP encryption, but then it disappears when I answer the connection because RTP is not encrypted. The same thing we see on our soft phone. Since I'm running asterisk as asterisk user, I will quickly change user with su asterisk and then for SIP channels edit the file nano etc asterisk sip.conf. And you can do this globally, but uh, just to show you how it works, I will add encryption equals yes to my 100 extension and then copy the same thing into 101. Then after saving the file, we will enter asterisk console with asterisk hyphen R and some Vs and do SIP reload. Then we will switch to our phone. Uh, in the first account, you will see that we have TLS transport enabled and the account is registered. However, in advanced tab, you see media encryption SRTP and this is disabled by default. So we will enable it and confirm our settings. Next, we'll do the same thing for our soft phone. So let's enable our advanced configuration. And here, what is interesting, we could go just to SRTP key negotiation and select SDS as our SRTP encryption. But uh, let's quickly check. What if we disable TLS? Then we cannot enable media encryption. So just keep in mind that in many cases you cannot have media encryption without transport encryption. So let's just enable both and you will see that account is registered. So once again, we can do our test call. Once again, call 101 extension. We have this green icon indicating SIP encryption, but then when we answer the connection, this green lock icon stays here and our soft phone also shows that our RTP media is encrypted. So that is all for SIP channels. You just need to add one line of code to your extensions or general section. For PJ SIP channels, configuration is quite similar. Let's just enter pjsip.conf in etc asterisk directory and for our extension, we will add media encryption. And this is misleading because for some versions, you just set it to yes. But in most cases, you want to add something like SDES or DTLS. But DTLS is mostly used for WebRTC. So let's just stick with SDES. Let's copy the same thing to our second extension. And I just want to highlight at this point that for PJSIP, you can add the second line with media encryption optimistic, <laughs> who doesn't like to be optimistic, but this gives you a possibility to have SRTP as an option, not just enable or disabled, but an option to have our SRTP. It will try to use it, but if it's not available, it will stick to regular unencrypted connection. Temporarily, I will comment this out. Then once again, after saving in Astra's console, we will do module reload res underscore pjsip.so. We need to reload the whole module. And now in our accounts, we have TLS enabled. 
we will go to media encryption set to yes. We'll do exactly same thing for our soft phone. And to conclude our video, we can do a test run in PJSIP channels. So using 200 extension, we will call 201. We will see our green icon indicating SIP transportation encryption. Then after answering, this green icon stays here. So SRTP is used in our channels. Also, our soft phone shows that we are using SDES as a security module for our RTP encryption. So that's it here. Okay, so as you can see, enabling secure calling with SRTP is really easy and it's just a matter of adding a few lines to your code. However, in all those videos, we assumed that Asterisk acts as a server for your phones. So in the next one, I will show you how to establish a fully secure connection between two Asterisk servers. So check our website, check our channel and you know what to do. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an amazing day and see you in the next one.